If you're an Amazon seller and you're wanting to launch a new product, so you're needing to do product development research to really research the market and see what's out there so that you can make your product better than those that are out there and maybe even refine your current product that you're selling, then you have to keep watching this video because I'm about to be showing you a tool called VOC AI. And what this tool does is it will literally scour and analyze thousands of Amazon customer reviews and it will find the pros and cons. It'll find the big complaints. It'll find what customers really liked about the product. So it will analyze all of this Amazon customer review data for you, compile it in a nice, easy to digest charts and reports so that you can easily see the pros and cons and how to develop your product to be the best on the market and really avoid getting those bad reviews because you've already looked through thousands of reviews. So let's go ahead and jump into it now, starting with me showing you the on Amazon analysis report that you can get and how their Chrome extension will just give you this report when you're on Amazon. And then I'm going to actually show you the dashboard, the actual website and how you can look through that data and really make some decisions about your product development and how you want to create your product, taking into consideration what all of the thousands of customers are saying about the current products on the market. All right. So now you should be able to see my screen. And as you can see right here along the top of this listing page is the Shulix Chrome extension area. So I can click on review analysis and that's going to then scan all the reviews, analyze all those reviews and give me a little report. And this is what the report is going to look like. It's going to, going to be this whole area on top of the listing. And here are some of the points that it covers. So you got customer profile. Sometimes this populates, sometimes it doesn't. When it does, you can learn who, when, where they use it and how they're using it. Pros. So it talks about brightness. 61% of people said that it's very bright. It illuminates lar large areas. I'm going to click on this little area right here to kind of open up the further breakdown right there. 11% of people talk about its durability, its quality, its features, customer service. You can see the cons right here. Again, you can open this up and you can see battery life. So how you can then take that to the next level is let's say 28% of the people are complaining about the battery life. Well, you can make battery life on your flashlight as low large as possible, giving it the biggest battery so that you can make your flashlight fully focused in on having like the largest battery life and the brightest. And you can kind of knock out a lot of these bad reviews by hopefully having the largest battery a defective product. You can go through a lot more testing with your product to make sure that your product stands up. It's durable. It doesn't break down. So you can really address the quality of your product because people are there are complaining about the quality. You know, by looking at the complaints here, you can make battery life, brightness and quality quality, your main concerns with your product. Let's say that if you're selling a flashlight. All right. So in this section right here, you have usage scenario. So that's going to break down where people are using. Are they using it outdoors for emergencies, for work, backyard illumination, nighttime dog walks? So when you figure out how your customers are actually using your product, you can then create your listing content to show that. So if you wanted to focus in on people using your flashlight for walking their dog, then when you show your product listing, photos, you can show people walking the dog within your photos, right? To show like this is the main purpose. Or maybe you have it like attached to their forehead or to like their chest or something like that. So they can walk the dog with their hands free and maybe your flashlight just straps around their chest and it's easy to see, um, you know, backyard illumination work. Maybe for backyard illumination, you create like a tripod or something for your flashlight to mount onto your tripod so that you can basically just mount it there, light up your backyard, play some cornhole in the backyard, do some barbecuing, things like that. So when you really start to learn more about how these customers are using this specific flashlight right here, then you can take your product to the next level because you've done the research and seen that's how these people are using it. Customer expectation. You know, you can look at battery life, its brightness, battery replacement. You know, maybe you want your battery to be replaceable and be able to be removed. Purchase motivations. You know, what is driving the customer to buy this specific flashlight? Is it the brightness and they wanting to just use it as for emergencies and just leave it in their car? Is it a gift? So when you're able to look at the reviews and then figure out what is your customer's motivations, then you can really illustrate that with your listing content, how you create your product and overall develop your product that's going to serve these people in the best way possible. All right. So that right there is a quick glimpse into how the Google Chrome extension works when you're actually on the Amazon website. So now I'm going to show you the report that you can actually see when you're on the VOC 
Ai website dashboard. Now, real quick, before I continue, if you're interested in getting this software subscription, then you got to visit evolvelinks.com slash AI Shulix. And if you use the promo code evolve 20, that's going to save you 20% on your subscription. So again, if you're interested in giving this tool a shot, be sure to use the promo code evolve 20 and you can get to the website by going to evolvelinks.com slash AI Shulix. All right. So jumping back over to the screen share here, as you can see, we're in the voc.ai dashboard. And the really cool thing about using the website platform is that you can literally have it look through 50 or 100 different ASINs and look through all the reviews of those different ASINs. And then you can really have some serious data to look through as far as the who, when, where, what. You can look at the usage scenario across 28,000 reviews right here. I mean, and it can be even more than that. So let me quickly show you how to actually import multiple ASINs and then you have a lot of data to actually make some decisions based off of. All right, so here is where you're going to put in one ASIN to this search bar. Now, I've ever already done that. So here is the page where I've created one ASIN. I've clicked on more and then basically you can click add and then you can put in an ASIN right here, another ASIN and then click on update. All right, so I've got these 28,000 reviews analyzed. So let's start looking through the data here. So we've got the customer profile. That's going to show me who, like husband, kid, friend, family, son. When, when are they using this? Obviously at night, it's a flashlight that we're looking at here. Every day, Christmas, morning, things like that. Next is where. So this is more like not geographic, but where like are they using it? So the car, in their pocket, in their house, around the house, just keeping it in their purse. What like when they're camping to give it as a gift to walk their dog like we talked about or an emergency situation. So you can really get a, a good idea of some of the usage scenarios there. Let's scroll down here. So we see even more of a drill down on the usage scenario. So 23% of the 28,000 reviews are talking about how they're using it for outdoor activities, general use. Customers have found these handheld flashlights to be useful for general use, including comfortable grip, backlight, Halloween decorations. If you want to, you know, kind of it, I'm just giving you ideas on how you can see how people are using this, you know, general use, night dog walking, work use, everyday carry kind of things like that. Uh, so let's move on here. Rating optimization. Now, this is a really good section if you're trying to make sure that you're getting a lot more positive reviews than you are getting negative reviews. So you can see what are people complaining about? Short battery life, not bright enough, defective product. And then you can make sure to address those when you create your product to not have some of those down sides, you know, here they're actually praising some of these products for being durable, adjustable beam, long battery life being compact. So really good to see what a lot of these ratings are complaining about and then what the what the pros are, what they're uh, praising about, you know, bright right there. Overall customer sentiment here, you can see the negative feedback topic is usually around the short battery life. 19 percent of people are talking about how short the battery is or the poor quality. Um, so even more just information on what I was kind of talking about before. You can see the positive feedback there. Again, what is their motivation? So on the actual website dashboard, it gives you much more information than what the Google Chrome extension shows you. But the Chrome extension may just be a good starting place for you to see customer expectations. All right. So here at the top, you've got another tab that says competitive analysis. And here's where you can compare the different competitors. You can see their different review counts, their price points, their launch date how many reviews they have. So, you know, if you see that your competitors have several thousand reviews, it may be kind of tough to crack into that space because they're already pretty established, kind of giving you some ideas into how approachable certain product categories are, or how your competitive landscape is looking. And then here in this customer profile, they're showing you that who, when, where, what section for each different competitor that they're comparing to see this one right here. The husband was using it, you know, 21 percent of the time where this one over here, the husband was using it 39 percent of the time. And this one, the kid was using it 55 percent of the time for that one. So you get a good idea. You know, if you're not trying to appeal to kids with your particular flashlight, then this one's not going to be applicable and you can kind of change up the competitors that you're analyzing there. But overall, this competitive analysis is going to use those same sections as before in this other tab up here, customer insights. But it's basically going to extrapolate them so you can look at four different competitors or four different products at the same time with these four different columns to review here. Now, here on this reviews tab, I really like this one because you can actually just see the exact reviews and you can type a keyword. So let's say that brightness is the keyword that I really want to focus in on and see how many customer reviews mention the word brightness. So we can type in that keyword brightness 
And then we can just literally start reading through all the reviews that mention brightness. So if I really want to nail down on brightness with my product and I want to address what people are saying about the brightness, boom, right there, I can look through thousands of reviews, 9,800 uh, 9, reviews that mention the word brightness out of these 28,000 and really get some exact data on what exactly these customers are saying. All right, so there you have a somewhat quick tutorial and run through on how awesome this VOC AI tool is to help you in launching a new product and doing your product development research to figure out which direction should you potentially go based on usage scenarios, based on where they're using it around the house and in their daily lifestyle, who is using it, you know, the husband, the wife, things like that. And then this information can really guide you on how you create your listing content, how you develop the product as far as should you sell it with a tribe pod if you want to market it more as towards like a, a backyard flashlight or if you want to use it for emergency scenarios maybe you sell it with like a case with a little tripod and the the flashlight so that maybe you tripod it up with the flashlight facing at your car tire right if you if you popped your tire on the side of the road now you can actually tripod it up so you can kind of think outside the box and sell more than just a flashlight in this example you can actually add on things because you know that the demand is there for emergency uses or backyard situations or using it as barbecue grill, you know, nighttime barbecuing, like it'll hold the flashlight for you. Or if you're a mechanic and you, you need someone to hold the flashlight in this exact height and this exact angle, maybe that tripod idea is, is somewhat of a good idea. So selling it as somewhat of a bundle like that could help you and you would find out this data from looking through 28,000 reviews of customers that are talking about how they want to use it for this particular instance. I really like the idea personally of letting that dictate how you create create your listing photos and videos, I think that would really be helpful to show you what you need to picture and what you need to show in your video. And also that's going to go hand in hand with how you actually develop the product in the first place. So anyway, you got to check out this product again, go to evolvelinks.com slash AI Shulix. Use the promo code evolve 20 to save 20% on your subscription. And I hope that you give it a try because I'm really having a lot of fun in analyzing thousands of reviews and the data is just being served up to me in such an easy way. I don't actually have to go manually look through all these different reviews and it just makes it so searchable and just really compiles the data easy for me to look through. So highly recommend this tool. I really do love it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.